Hey everybody, Flight Instructor Brad Russell here. Now today I'm going to show you how to find your true airspeed. Now there are several different ways to do so, whether using the POH, the E6B, or what I'm about to show you using the airspeed indicator in the aircraft. Knowing how to calculate true airspeed on the airspeed indicator is an important skill for a pilot to have because it allows you once you're airborne to double check any calculations you might have made, such as on during a cross-country flight or during a diversion. You'll notice on the airspeed indicator we have two airspeeds displayed. The first is the inner scale, or the indicated airspeed. You'll notice right now we're indicating about 95 knots. These speeds are used whenever we're flying in accordance to the V-speeds published in the POH. The second set of numbers are the numbers with the white background located around the outside of the gauge. This is our true airspeed, and this is what we use for planning purposes. Now this is not automatic, and we have to actually set the gauge manually. You'll notice when I rotate this knob, the set of numbers at the bottom which the needle is pointing to rotates, as well as the set of numbers at the top of the gauge rotate. Now recalling that true airspeed is affected by both pressure and temperature, we have to manually set these values at the top of the gauge. The bottom set of numbers represent the temperature in degrees Celsius of the flight conditions we're actually in. We can find those by using the outside air temperature gauge in the aircraft. The top set of numbers are pressure altitude that we're actually flying at. Recall we can use the altimeter by setting it to standard pressure 29.92 and reading what's indicated. A nice feature in our aircraft is on our transponders, you can actually press the function key and scroll until pressure altitude is displayed. Now that we know our pressure altitude is 6600, we're going to rotate the knob located on the airspeed indicator until 6600 is lined up directly over the positive 20 degrees Celsius outside air temperature we found earlier. Now that we have the numbers at the top set, we can actually look at the numbers at the bottom that the needle is pointing to on the outside of the gauge or the wide background numbers. And that, my friends, is the true airspeed. Now, as long as you stay in similar flight conditions, you can make power adjustments, and as your speed fluctuates, you can continue to look at the outside of the gauge and find an accurate true airspeed for your flight. Now that you know exactly what your true airspeed is, your time between checkpoints or on a diversion are going to be that much more accurate. Well, everyone, that does it for today's video. Again, if there are any other ideas of any videos you'd like to see us make, drop us a suggestion in one of the hazard ID boxes. This is Brad Russell saying fly, control, and manage like a champion today. So long.